Welcome back friends. We're going to do part five of the um, <laughs> Country Diary Springtime. Um, so this time we're going to be using some cast off envelopes, some index cards, and page 31. So uh, these are just, I think these came from like a vintage stationery set. These envelopes are pale blue, but you could use cream, white, pale pink, but ivory, whatever color you want. Um, I thought the pale blue went nicely with the eggs. I should measure these. This is um, five and seven eighths by about uh, four, I guess exactly four. Okay. All right. Um, so the first thing I want to do is, uh, let's cut this page apart. Hmm, maybe not. I am going to put my tear ruler right under where it says Robin and Hedge Sparrow. So just above this line. Let me make sure I'm square. More or less square. Okay. I didn't want to cut this page because image on the back goes across both pages so if I wanted to do something fancy uh, well I guess that's really the only thing is the um, uh, this little vine it's too bad about that bird he's kind of cute all right. Okay. Set that aside. Um, I'm going to want to punch a thumb hole. No, it'll be lower than that. Right? Yes. Think about that for a second. I'm always scared of cutting off too much. <laughs> okay. How's that? Let's see if it's going to fit.
Okay, let's try that. Sure, I that on for size. Oh yes, that's much better. Let's get some ink going on here. Oh, that's not what I want to ink. <laughs> Getting tired and starting to yawn. So this um, is going to be a, obviously a pocket on the front. Okay. I'm going to sew it directly to the envelope. So I'm just going to add a couple drops of glue, a couple of drips. crazy. So I'm going to just bring my machine over and I'm just going to put tools under there so it's kind of rocky. I'm just going to zigzag the raw edge down. So um, I'm turning that corner. had questions about the color of my thread. It's kind of a golden brown color. It's um, Guterman, which is a good all-purpose sewing thread. Good quality all-purpose sewing thread. And the color number is, I'll look again, 865. Color 865. Okay. Now, I'm going to use one of these cards. There's blue, there's yellow, um, but I'm going to use one of these kind of green looking ones. And we'll just see if it fits. Okay. Okay. I want to punch a tab. So here's a tip. Um, if you're making multiples like I am, um, so I want to keep all of these together, I just put a staple at the bottom because I want to use this purple flower in my tab.
well just kind of center that in there. Again with the again with the ink. that down and okay I want to find the center of this because you know you know who I am so this is five inches so two and a half and I'm going to put the purple edge all the way down to the red line well actually past the red line Turn it over and finish. Gluing that tab down. Um, on my bone folder there for a minute. Okay, so that is as simple as that. Now, in our next video, we will um, be making a journal card to go inside. If you want to decorate up this journal card, uh, I trust you've been saving your little little bits here so there's butterflies to be um, fussy cut but there's also these um, these are Martins so if you want to to do a Martin on there um, you can do as you please but I'm just leaving it plain so it's easy to get in and out and uh, I can use the Martin for something that's going to show Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. We will be back again uh, with part six, where we will be making um, a journal card that goes inside. And um, let me just demonstrate how this can be used. So it can be uh, put over the top like that, or uh, clipped to the side. Or it could even be glued here and made into a tip-in. Could be glued or sewn in. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying this series. Leave your comments below. Um, and uh, let me know how you're feeling about this series. Okay, so take care. We'll talk to you again soon.